Well, heads up, if you live on planet Earth, gets us, all of us, a giant asteroid hurtling toward our planet, expected to intersect with Earth's orbit next week of December. The asteroid will be at its closest proximity to Earth in 20 years. It was first spotted back in 1994 and was classified as being an Earth impact risk until 2016. The asteroid is as wide as a football field is long and is considered potentially dangerous because of its size and its proximity to our planet. And then it'll be about 10 times farther away than the moon. So you can breathe now. We turn now to what sounds like the premise of a sci-fi movie. NASA today, in a first of its kind mission, launched a spacecraft named DART towards an asteroid. Early tomorrow morning, a spacecraft is gonna make its way toward an asteroid for the first time, a NASA spacecraft will try to knock an asteroid off course. Lift off. NASA just launched Earth's Dart. first planetary defense mission, planetary DART. More than 27,000 near-Earth asteroids, seen here in blue, have been identified so far. 10,000 seem big enough to cause a calamity if they were to hit our planet. In 2013, a small asteroid, roughly 60 feet across, exploded over Russia. Look out. In the 1998 sci-fi thriller Armageddon, an asteroid the size of Texas is on a collision course with planet Earth. The United States government just asked us to save the world. And actor Bruce Willis jumps in to save us all. You're going to remote detonate the bomb. Smaller size asteroids, even as small as a few hundred feet in size, if they were to impact, particularly in a populated area, uh, it would be a natural disaster on the order of uh, anything that we've ever dealt with. But luckily, there are no known hazards in the next hundred or so years. But we actually haven't found all of the asteroids yet, which is why it makes sense to be ready in case you needed to. We're all going to feel the ramifications of this. And what we're seeing right now with the wildfires and the massive hurricanes and all these catastrophes, it doesn't get better than this, OK? <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. It, slowly becomes worse. In the central United States, one of the storms is thought to have traveled over 365 kilometers, the longest continuous path of any tornado on record. Nature delivered a catastrophe on a scale which has not been seen before in this part of the United States. We are coming on the air right now to bring you the latest on the storm reports that continue to pour in from across this country. 22 tornadoes have been reported across six states so far. Tornadoes tore a path through 200 miles. Send something like this, this is an unusual event for the month of December. It's typically our quietest month for uh, tornadoes, especially in Kentucky, and then on across four states uh, for several hours. Uh, a remarkable system. Most of the victims were in Kentucky, which saw the worst twisters in the state's history. At least four touched down there and swept along for hundreds of miles, destroying everything in their paths. And it ended with this, the most extraordinary devastation in the town of Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, this will be, I believe, the deadliest tornado system to ever run through Kentucky. In all, 30 tornadoes were reported across a large swathe of the southeast. The tornadoes which tore across five states in America's Midwest and South brought death along a 200-mile path. With a tornado that will likely span at least four states was on the ground for more than 300 kilometers, this simply doesn't really happen. This is a once in a 40, 50 plus year event. And the most amazing part, I think, was the fact that for a high-end tornado, we're talking an EF4, EF5 tornado, we see debris lifted to about eight, 9,000 meters. This time around, close to 15 to 16,000 meters. So this event, in all respects, was off the charts. The tornadoes had been warned of, but there was nothing that could have been done to prevent and little that could have been done to protect. They've suffered the consequences before, but not at this level. There are so many communities who've been hit by this latest extraordinary weather event. Hundreds and hundreds in several states from north to south, the length of the country. 
Now, it's been quite a stormy week here, hasn't it, yeah. really? Uh, not just here, across other parts of Europe too. Uh, let me just show you these pictures. Huh? Absolutely stunning footage just off the coast from uh, Rome. Uh, this is, well, it looks like a massive tornado. It's actually over the sea, so it's called a water spout. But an incredible, incredible footage there. Uh, it lasted for about 15 minutes rumbling along the coast as well, accompanied a short while after by some severe thunderstorms and hail too. Uh, what you can't quite see in that shot, there's actually somebody in the water swimming there. Yes, I see. I Can you saw. see them? I saw, what yes. What were they thinking? I have no <laughs> idea. Confident not to be advised to do at home. But you can see the water spray coming up, can't you, from uh, where that uh, circulation... Could be a, a, an, ex an extreme storm chaser. Every year around this time, Santa's busy preparing for a trip up in the sky with his reindeer friends. This December, he'll be joined by a celestial pal. Comet Leonard, aka the Christmas Comet, will blaze toward the sun and travel close to Earth earlier than expected. Just a few days after NASA launched a spacecraft it hopes will push an asteroid traveling toward Earth off course, comes a new comedy covering similar ground. NASA? launching a spacecraft overnight on a rare mission to crash into an asteroid. For the first time in the new Netflix comedy, Don't Look Up, it's about a comet hurtling straight toward Earth. You could soon see another comet in our sky. A comet that was discovered in January is finally expected to be visible with binoculars. The recently discovered comet is on its way into the inner solar system. It's known as Comet Leonard. And this was discovered earlier this year, but it's going to be brightest through the month of December. <sighs> Your breathing is stressing me out. This will affect the entire planet. I know, but it's like so stressful. The Comet Leonard, named after him, is different. This comet is getting closer to the sun and closer to the Earth. So that gives us the opportunity to see it as it brightens. It's not just different from a scientific standpoint, but from a personal standpoint as well. It's very gratifying and humbling as well. I never dreamed, you know, as a, as a young boy out there in the backyard that I'd ever get a chance to, to discover something that's really special and really unique like this comet is. A lifetime in the making, Leonard calls this the cosmic jackpot. And uh, again, discovered this year. So once in a lifetime to see a newly discovered comet that doesn't get better than that. But it isn't potentially going to happen. It is going to happen. Exactly. 99.78% to be exact. Oh, good. Okay, so it's not 100%. Well, scientists never like to say 100%. Call it 70% and let's just, let's move on. Enjoy the marvel of what we know about them. Enjoy the mystery of the, the things that we still don't know about them. And appreciate it uh, for what it is, just a beautiful cosmic object. It doesn't take long to see that the comet is a metaphor for climate change, with the world split between believers and skeptics. And while there's nothing funny about global annihilation, the movie is a comedy through and through. What if we have to go to the bathroom? We'll lay out some newspaper for you. Grab you a can of Febreze. Can we just call it a potentially significant event? Yeah. Yes. Just in time for Christmas, the end of the world. There's a comet headed directly towards Earth. In the new movie, Don't Look Up, out this month in theaters and on Netflix, a giant comet is on a collision course with planet Earth. This comet is what we call a planet killer. That is correct. A spacecraft known as DART lifted off from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. NASA is trying to find out if it's possible to knock a speeding space rock off course if, if one were to ever threaten Earth. If all goes well, it will slam head-on into a targeted asteroid next fall. We should point out the asteroid is no danger to Earth. It's just a good target for testing out the potentially planet-saving technology. Are we not being clear? We're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. Okay. okay. Um, well, it's, um, you know, just something we do around here. You know, we just keep the bad news light. Right, it helps the medicine go down. Did you feel like I have to do a comedy? Yeah, because if we're laughing, we can deal with stuff. 
It's when we get, you know, overwhelmed with uh, depression or despair, that's when things get hard. 200 dead birds fall like rain in Spain. Around 200 birds died in a mass slaughter, falling like rain from the skies upon unsuspecting villages in Spain. We could overcome this, but what's scaring me now is it's really getting to be down to the last second. So hopefully this movie is something where we get a lot of laughs, but we also get a kick in the pants.